Hello and welcome to Budapest. I'm Simon Reid. Welcome to the first day of three days of our coverage here on Eurosport of the European Speed Skating, the Short Track Championships, the second full-blown European Championships. They've had Europe Cups since uh, 1982, but this is the first time that the uh, championships have been held in Budapest. The uh, first European Championships were last year in Malmo. The last Europe Cup in Oberstdorf in 96. Britain well represented and here in the first of five heats in the ladies 1500 meters. Britain has Debbie Palmer third in the European Championships in 96 in Oberstdorf and in 95 when they were held at Graz in Austria. She's up against Ellen Vigas, the favorite from Holland. Suzanne Busch from Germany, Sylvia Sabolski of Hungary, plenty of home support for her, and Sylvia Steiner from Austria. 1500 meters, the, in these heats, the first three go through automatically, and the three fastest fourth place skaters will go through to the semi-final. There'll be three semi-finals with six skaters in each. Here's Sylvia Steiner, the Austrian girl. For Holland, Ellen Vigas, the Hungarian. Sylvia Zabolski and Debbie Palmer on the inside. Debbie Palmer, for those of you watching back home in Britain, with the uh, number 11 on the helmet, but uh, all in black, lining up right on the inside. So 13 and a half laps of this 111 meter track. And those of you who haven't seen the short track before, it's very tactical, slow build up, fast and furious at the end. Remember the first three go through as of right, and that's what they'll be aiming for. And the losers hoping to be one of the three fastest fourth place skaters. So an Indian file at the beginning, and uh, Debbie just tacking on at the back. Leading Ellen Vigas from Holland, then Sabolski from Hungary. In third place, Suzanne Busch for Germany. Then Sylvia Steiner and Debbie Palmer at the back. A little injection of pace from Vegas, just testing the others out. Massive hall here, an 8,000 cedar hall. I don't mean full, but very good ice, very fast, and the skaters delighted with it. Still, it's Vegas leading from Zabolski in second place. Palmer still at the back. But fancied here to be one of the three to go through. Just around halfway. And uh, Steiner making a move on the inside. Viga holding her off. Viga's now from Steiner. Having to go around the outside. Still Palmer at the back. Still Viga's at the front and beginning to accelerate now. Just to keep out of arm's way keep away from the flailing arms and skates at the end because one little push a little touch and it's all over four laps to go Vegas looking good Bush in second place and here comes Debbie Palmer moving into third that'll be good enough if she can hold it Steiner fourth for Austria Sobolski at the back and uh, seemingly out of it into the final lap, Vigas, Bush, Palmer, and they look set. And over the line, Vigas takes it. Alan Vigas in first for Holland. Second, Suzanne Bush for Germany. And in third place, Debbie Palmer from Great Britain. So, Vigas accelerating, dominating the race from uh, virtually start to finish. 
and easing up a little at the end. Those two, Vegas and Bush, comfortably home, and Palmer pushing through. No problem at all. So we move to the second heat here, and uh, there's the princess of ladies short track, Mariana Canclini. Mariana Canclini, the four times European champion. Ninth in the world, dominated this by the Far East. Natalia Svetkova of the Ukraine, Stephanie Bouvier from France, Olga Kablin from Israel, and Roya Supans from Austria. But uh, Marinella Canclini, the young lady to watch out for. Three times in a row, she's won the European Championship. Obersdorf and Grass. Well, one European Championship and two when it was called the Europa Cup. Moment in front, Olga Kablin from Israel. And Kanklini knows she has such immense speed that she can tuck in almost anywhere she wants. So she's at the back. No one anxious to take this up. Sport here that's uh, in the Olympics in Nagano as a medal sport for the third time. It was a demonstration sport in uh, 1988 when Wilf O'Reilly, of course, from Britain, won two Olympic gold medals, but then as a demonstration sport. But he was really the pathfinder of the British team, and so much success has followed. Svechkova leading from for the Ukraine. Carbon in second place. French girl Bouvier moving closer. Canclini still content to watch and wait, bide her time. The confidence to know that she doesn't have to get involved in anything that's going on out front. She can turn it on when she wants to as we move towards halfway now. Remember the first three go through as of right. Now the pace begins to hot up. Canclini coming all the way on the outside to one smooth run. Goes from last to first and opens up a four or five meter gap that was mighty impressive. Taking no chances, just turning it on. The fastest girl in Europe by some way and stamping her authority here on this race. Bouvier moving through for France, Carblin for Israel. It's going to be close though for that third place, Vichkova still there for the Ukraine. But no catching this girl. Moving through the final lap, Canclini. Bouvier getting into second place. Can she hold it? Yes, she does. Canclini wins for Italy. Stephanie Bouvier second for France. Olga Carblin third for Israel. A slow time, but there was no pressure at all on Marinella Canclini. Just uh, waited behind the slow pace, injected the pace for a lap and a half. And that was it. Here's the move that took her from last to first around the far bend. So two of the five heats to go. You'll be back with us here for the European short track in Budapest right after this. Eurosport 20th Century Fox and Paramount Pictures invite you to play and win. The Titanic sank in 1912. True or false? You could win a one-week holiday for two in the Caribbean. Runners-up will receive a silver clock and a Titanic pen. 
You're back with us in this magnificent Budapest Sports Hall. And we're watching the uh, 1500 meters heats for the ladies, three of five heats. There are no individual goals for each individual distance. There are accumulation of points, five for the winner, three for second, two for third. And after the 1500, the 500, the 1000, the top eight go through to the 3000 meters. And uh, at the end of that, there'll be an aggregate score and the leading aggregate score will take the gold medal. No gold medals individually for winning the 1500, but uh, a lot of pride at stake. Right then, here we have Holland, Italy, Russia, Bulgaria and Belarus. Anka Landeman from uh, the Netherlands is the favorite. And uh, a little quicker pace injected here early on. So much dawdling as we saw before. Promises to be a, a tighter event. Barbara Baldizera leading off. In second place, Daniel Blaeva from Bulgaria. Milia Pavlovich from Belarus in third, wearing number three. But uh, round the outside and taking no chances. And Kalandman. Short track, not as popular in the Netherlands as long track speed skating but still has a good following and they have done remarkably well in european and world championships in the past so landman leads aldizera in second Timofieva in third for Russia. Remember the top three through and the four fastest, the three fastest fourth place skaters that might well apply here. This is a useful pace as we reach halfway. Valdezera trying to make a move on the inside, but Landman closes the door. The Bulgarian Daniela Vlaeva making her move now. But uh, Pavlovich of the Belarus has dropped right out. So it's between these four, three for sure will go through. The back is Vlaeva from Bulgaria. Still at the front, Landman dictating as she has done before. Baldizera for Italy in second. Timofieva for Russia in three. Now she tries on the inside, but uh, just a little more injection of pace and Landman making absolutely sure now with a little burst that's bound to pull her away. Italy's second, Timofieva moving through to third place and it looks like these three now. Vleva has dropped off the back. So these three are sure to qualify. And Daniela Vlaeva will have to wait and see the Bulgarian. And that's the fastest time so far, 2.31.7.3. Indeed, in the short track, they calculate in a thousandth of a second, 7.3.0. That's how close it is sometimes, just to look back, but she knows she's comfortably through, and through to the semi-final three semi-finals there'll be you'll see the semis and the final later on in this program both in the ladies and the men's 1500 on to heat number four elena tikanina from russia the favorite christina Ruteva of bulgaria olga solomatina from ukraine katin weber from germany and agnes shishmedia from hungary very much an East European field of this race. But Tikanina is the favorite, third in the European Championships last year in Malmo, 20 years old from St. Petersburg. Catherine Weber, there's the Russian, Tikanina. It's Tikanina who takes it up on the inside, but uh, no rush.
Again, the uh, favoured skaters usually try and keep out of as much trouble as they can, dictating from the front. But uh, Katrin Weber taking over. So Weber in front. Tikanina tucked in second place. Third is Solomatina from the Ukraine. This is a good deal slower. Just about as slow as we've had apart from the heat when can clean her one. So it's Germany first with Weber. Then it's Tikanina. Then Vateva from Bulgaria. Just blocking the move outside. Tikanina and coming come back in and Tikanina sure enough takes over from Weber who will do well to qualify if she can here the German pressure from Voteva in third place if anyone's to uh, give Tikanina a run for her money it'll be Voteva can't get to her they were doing well, but now they're racing through. She still holds on to second place with four laps to go. No doubt that Tikanina now dominating and moving away. They were beginning to struggle. And they're closing up into second goes Shishmadia. Two laps to go. Desperate stuff. Vateva moves into second. Weber going backwards now. Into the final lap. Tikanina is sure to go through. So too is Vateva. Those two can relax and look at the battle for third place. And it looks like Weber's going to be run out of it. Yes, she is. Shishmadia makes it into third. But only by the tiniest fraction. Nine one thousandths of a second. Against Olga Solomatina. But Elena Tikanina comfortable winner desperately tight for third cruising for much of the race and uh, slowing up towards the end allowing Bateva to get close to her but she knew she'd done enough those three definitely through on to the final heat here of the ladies 1500 Yvonne Kunze from Germany Marazzini for Italy the Bulgarian it's Anna Kastreva the Dutch is Maureen de Lange and for Russia Marina Pilaeva Zini on the inside Kunze the favorite here but this too should be very close indeed because they know it'll be tight. It's bound to be pretty rapid after they've settled down early on here. Marazzini takes it up for Italy. Second place is uh, Pilaeva from Russia. So Italy first, Russia second, and uh, for the Netherlands, Maureen de Lange. Then it's Kunzer in fourth place for Germany. And Kasteva from Bulgaria at the back. A fairly warm pace being set. Remember all the uh, top three here through the semis and then the final later on. So it's, uh, even though it's just one event, pretty grueling. Now then, Kunzer goes from last to first to set the pace Zini back in third Pilaeva moving to the front
still Pereira first, Kunze second. Trying to make a move is the Dutch girl, De Lange. Then Marazzini on the outside. Six laps to go. And they're grouping right up. Pelaeva still leading. Kunza in second. Now Kunza makes a move on the inside and gets through. Kunza leads. Pelaeva second. Zini in third place. Two to go. Kunza. Pelaeva second. The Italian Zini trying to get through. And also right up there, Anna Kosteva from Bulgaria. Kunza looks okay. Half a lap to go. She's all right. And second is going to Zini, but who's going to get third? Oh, so close. But it's Anna Kosteva getting the nod for Bulgaria. Kunza, though. Pretty impressive. Stamping her class so in the uh, last couple of laps. Easing up at the end, but she'd done enough. Zini comfortably in second. Anna Kosteva just edging out. Marina Paleva, very unlucky. See if she gets through as one of the uh, three fastest fourth place skaters. It might well happen. A little bit of Argy Bargy there as well. Maybe that'll go to the officials. You'll be back with the men's event right after this. Welcome back to Budapest, the Budapest Sports Hall. As we move now to the men's event, we'll be seeing the ladies' semi-finals and final later on, but now to the men's event. And uh, we have seven heats for you. And here, first and second qualify as of right, plus the four fastest third place skaters so first and second is what they're all aiming for the rest is a bit of a lottery again Italy have dominated this event first and second last year in the first European Championships in Malmo and they are well represented here with Michele Antonioli joint European champion in 96 with Nicky Gooch, bronze medalist in 95. There he is in the blue. Alongside Simon van Vossel of Belgium, Balas Nock of Hungary, Denis Zavlaski of Israel, Miroslav Bojaev of Bulgaria, and Timo Mate of Romania. Same distance, 1,500 meters, 13 and a half laps of this track. trick here with the uh, three races combining stamina and speed the 1500 meters is to conserve as much energy as you can be sure you get through be sure to keep out of trouble but take the minimum out of yourself whilst getting through it's a, a balancing act that Wilf O'Reilly used to do so well at the back there Tibor Mati from Romania a little bit outclassed here one would imagine certainly with his skating style, which doesn't really match the others. But he'll be all right for a few laps until they turn the heat on. Antonioli just tucked in in second place. Watching Balash knock there from Hungary in the lead, in the green. Antonioli. Just letting him go at the moment, as long as he keeps out of trouble and watches to make sure he's not left on the break. And every time there's an injection of pace, make sure it's counted so he stays in touch. And now there is an injection of pace. And straight away, Marty has dropped. Schnock 
who led for an instant, and then Antonioli just cruises to the front. Knock second, Van Vossel in third. Simon Van Vossel from Belgium. Four laps to go. It looks like these three have got it fairly comfortably. No need for any histrionics. But they're not absolutely sure what's going on behind them. And Antonioli leading a charge here, which is totally unnecessary. In fact, no, first and second go through. So close for second. Although this is a very quick heat. Antonioli with the final lap takes it up Van Vossel into second not third and that's how it finishes and a very quick time for a heat Michele Antonioli 2.30 6.63 6, 6, Simon Van Vossel second just three tenths in front of Balash Nock, who's going to have to wait now some time for the other six heats to see if he's made it through. Tonioli relaxes, and Vossel too, pretty comfortable. But Nock is going to have to wait. Now to the second heat. Matthew Rowe goes here for Great Britain alongside Joost Schmidt for the Netherlands, Oleg Glebov for Russia, Julian Angelov from Bulgaria, Hanshog Sida from Austria and Jason Boris for Belgium. Same again, first two through as a right, four fastest third place skaters will make it through to the semis. Rowe lining up on the inside. The outside is the Russian, Oleg Glebov, who has a real chance. So it's Glebov who leads. Rowe tucked in third place. Zida second for Austria. Hanjog Zida. Schmidt in fourth place. So, Glebov in front. Still no move from anyone behind. Rowe tucked in third place. It's not a bad pace at all as we move to halfway. Schmidt making a move on the outside, countered for the moment by Glebov. Glebov leads. Schmidt second. Rowe in third place. This will do nicely. At this sort of pace, he'd have a good chance of making it through to the semis. But it, to, to get to the first two would be his goal. Glebov leads for Russia. Then Schmidt. Rowe in third. Trying to get on terms. And Jogzida. Three laps to go, still the same order. Schmidt, Glebov and Rowe. And Rowe looking as if he's being left here. But he'll have to keep up the pace to try and get through as one of these fastest losers. Schmidt takes it for the Netherlands. Glebov in second place. 
and Rowe will have to see. Very nearly a fall. And at the end, it was Schmidt in front. And Glebov quite happy to relax comfortably in the knowledge that he's made it through. Matthew Rowe will have to wait and see as we go to heat number three and the charismatic Fabio Carter here for Italy. 20 years old from Turin, the European champion, the winner last year in Malmo. And for Great Britain, third in the European Championships when it was the Europe Cup in Oberstdorf, Matt Jasper. Evgeny Yakovlev for the Ukraine. Arto Solienko for Belarus, Ludovic Mathieu from France, and Alexei Ivleev for Russia. But there's Carter. Overwhelming favorite here. 